My name's Tracy Lalone from Lancaster. Uh, I do a lot of my work uh, here in Cornwall. Um, musician, at least my first uh, album, Little Letters. Studying music in school ended up being out of necessity for having to go to school. Uh, parents, you know, finished finish high school and, and my parents got to, you know, figure out what you want to do in college and, and, and there was the program at St. Lawrence for music and digital media and it looked really interesting and I was like, okay, well, I, I guess I'm going to do that and I did it and I really enjoyed it. My family's been really supportive in, in my music career, I guess. <laughs> Like when I was in high school, you know, like, can you use something else other than, than you know, playing your guitar? And be like, no, no, I'm still going to play guitar. Uh, but, but now they're, I think they're seeing that I'm taking it seriously and, and things are kind of happening with it. So they're, they're very encouraging and supportive of, of what I'm doing. And I'd written a bunch of songs over the course of a few years and Graham Greer approached me saying, hey, whenever you're ready to do an EP, like, let, let me know. Like I want, I want to help you. I want to record you, and um, so I had enough songs, and I approached him, and we started recording. We recorded it at his home studio uh, in Cornwall. Um, brought in a couple of people to cover some of the instruments, and then him and I did most of the instrument work. The day that it was released, it was it was kind of surreal. The support's been fantastic. A lot of positive feedback. A lot of it came through like social media. You know, like I'd, I'd share it on Facebook and, uh, you know, I was expecting like, oh, a couple friends like to like it and, you know, share it. And then I had people I didn't know sharing it and it kind of, you know, exploded and it was like, wow, that, that is really cool. And, and it was kind of, again, like another little confidence booster saying, oh, wow, there, there are people out there who, who like what I do. And it was kind of, it was really cool. <laughs> Writing is a really daunting task for me. It takes me a long time. Um, usually it starts off as um, like a melody that I have. And um, so then I work, I work at, at making that melody really strong and then um, I put, put it behind chords and then words don't really come until a lot later. So eventually that random gibberish kind of evolves into, you know, cohesive sentences that, that make sense and but then that process can take a long time so there's not really anything that uh, that helps you know helps me sit down and write a song in like five minutes I can't I can't really do that so. writing is, is the most difficult part for me but that sense of accomplishment I feel once I've written a song and once I've recorded that song um, so when, when, once the song has been realized to its you know full potential its end product that's my favorite part because it's kind of a for me it, it's it's a testament to how much work I've put into something I mean, favorite song would probably have to be little little letters um, I just I like I like the way it's written, I like the way it all came together on the EP. At the time, one of the songs, when, it, when I wrote it, it was one of the ones that, that, meant, that meant a lot. The, the songs were written individually over, you know, a span of time, and they weren't really written with an album in mind. So going into the second one, all the songs that, that will be written do have an album in mind, so I'm hoping there's some sort of, like, thematic tie between all the songs. Um, I hope that I refine my sound a bit more so that it's, it's more consistent because all the five songs on the on the on little letters um, while it's really cool that they, they have each their own sound they, they do have like the same um, sort of have the same sounds involved but they're all very different I, and I hope in the, in the next one that they, there's a bit more unity with with the songs too. One of my, my biggest goals I guess in releasing the EP was to get onto CBC Radio. That happened uh, and I hope it continues to, to grow in, in like the whole radio uh, scene. Uh, but going going forward now I guess like I'd like to do a little tour. Um, I've got to keep on writing, you know, I'm, I'm working on new songs for the second a second EP or album. I haven't decided on that yet. 
uh, and, and just promotion of, of what I've done so far to, to spread the word and, and get people to listen. My style, um, I guess it's kind of like a, an alternative pop kind of folk uh, sound to it. Like it's definitely like folk elements, but there's a, like a vast like instrumentation and it's not, it's not like straight ahead folk. So it's, and I try to like play on like pop melodies and stuff. Like I want them, I want the songs to be catchy and you know, interesting to listen to. There's a lot of artists who've influenced me. I guess the biggest right now would be like Arcade Fire and, and The National. And I, I like Coldplay. I'm not ashamed to admit that I like Coldplay. Um, however, I don't think their influence is... Um, you can't really hear their influence, I don't think, in the EP too much. Like that wasn't, like I, I wasn't going into um, recording the album. So yeah, I want to make a, a an album that sounds like this band. Um, so I guess it's it's more so whenever I, I listen to their music, it 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 can help me get into the right frame of mind to to write my own in my own way. Yeah, music plays a pretty big part in my life. I'm kind of um, some kind of shy and it, it helps me you know get across different emotions and feelings and, and life experiences uh, it helps me get them out there in you know in a way that sometimes I can't really like verbally express like if I'm just talking to somebody so it, it's it's helped a lot with with that sort of thing <laughs> I guess.